Okay, so this is probably the most complicated type of mole calculation you can get in GCSE chemistry. It says a mixture contains one kilogram of aluminium and three kilograms of iron oxide. The equation is given here and it says show that aluminium is the limiting reactant. So first you need to understand the difference between limiting reactant and the reactant in excess. In excess means you have more of that reactant than is needed for that reaction, whereas limited means all of that reactant gets used up. So in this question, it's basically saying aluminium is limiting. That means all the aluminium is going to get used up and reacted here because there is more iron oxide than is needed for this reaction. So we need to prove this. So this is the limiting reactant and this is the one that's in excess. The way to do this is to look at how many moles of each one you have, then compare the ratios in the balanced equation to see which one you have more of. And what you should find is aluminium should have less than is needed for the reaction to occur. So let me show you what I mean by this. So let's start off with aluminium first of all. To find the moles of aluminium, we use the equation moles is equal to mass over MR. Now remember in this equation, mass needs to be measured in grams. What they've given us is kilograms. So one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So let's do 1,000 grams divided by the MR. Uh, in this case, we're dealing with elements, so they've given us the ARs here. Aluminium is 27. So 1,000 divided by 27. Now, when you add that in your calculator, you should get 37 moles. So we have 37 moles of aluminium. Now let's look at how much iron oxide we have. What we're going to do is the same thing again. Moles is equal to mass over MR. Let's sub the values we've got in here. We've got three kilograms this time. So it's going to be 3000 divided by the MR of iron oxide. Iron oxide is Fe2O3. We need to work that out. So Fe is 56, it's Fe2O3, so we need two lots of 56, so two times 56, then Fe2O3, three lots of oxygens, so we're going to add 16 times three, because oxygen is 16, and we're going to put that into our calculator. That will give us 18.75 moles. So just by looking at that, it looks like we have less 